Hey everyone, Brickhouse here with another video. This time talking a little bit about what's going on in Florida. The battle between Disney and Ron DeSantis. Um, some of you may remember. I um, can't remember if it was last year or a couple years ago. Uh, Florida, the state of Florida had passed a bill and DeSantis signed it into law, which was an anti-grooming bill that basically prohibited talk about certain things with kids up, up into third grade. And those things, um, I'm just going to say it. Those things have to do with sex and gender and so on and so forth. Uh, Disney, under the leadership of Bob Chapik at the time, decided to go full on and challenge that bill which was signed into law. Basically saying, we don't care what the law says. Uh, we think, they called it the, the don't say gay bill, which it never had any references to gay in it, if you actually read it. Um, but that's where this battle started. Well, as Disney turned up the heat, DeSantis basically came out and said, you know what, we're, we're going to revoke your... your uh, your special privileges that you've had for, geez, nearly 50 years. Basically, Disney was able to self-govern self -govern themselves. And DeSantis revoked that. So here we are now where the two entities, being Disney and the state of Florida, are now suing each other. And this comes from Breitbart. This was actually posted a couple days ago. DeSantis appointed Florida board votes to counter sue Disney as fight over anti-grooming law intensifies. The Central Florida board that was appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis to oversee Disney's special tax district has voted to counter sue the company. In, in what is becoming an all-out court battle between the two sides stemming from the state's anti-grooming law protecting children from LGBTQ indoctrination. This is what they're calling, on the left, the don't say gay law. Which again, there are no references to gay in it. On Monday, members of the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District Board of Supervisors held a meeting where they voted to sue the Walt Disney Company in state court, according to a WESH report. Since Disney sued us, we have no choice now but to respond, Chairman Martin Garcia reportedly said. The lawsuit is expected to try to uphold the new board's move to invalidate Disney's development agreement with Reedy Creek the Orlando area district where Disney World has enjoyed self-governing privileges for nearly five decades, 50 years. Last week, Disney sued DeSantis in federal court claiming the Republican governor is retaliating against the company for its efforts to, fly, to fight Florida's parental rights and education law, which prohibits public schools from indoctrinating students in radical gender theory, including transgenderism, as well as other forms of sexual ideology. I, I see nothing wrong with that. Democrats and their mainstream media news allies have smeared the law as don't say gay. In response to Disney's unprovoked political war, DeSantis revoked the company's self-governing privileges in Reedy Creek. DeSantis' office has hit back at Disney last week saying company has no legal right to corporate welfare. And he's right. He also slammed Disney in an interview with Britain's The Telegraph over the weekend, accusing the company of forum shopping for a judge who is sympathetic to the woke company. 
The federal judge scheduled to oversee Disney's suit is Mark Walker, an appointee of former President Barack Obama. Now, this ties into the story from Deadline. Um, Ron DeSantis is expected to sign a bill that would void Walt Disney World's development agreement with Special District overseeing the theme parks and resorts, the latest move in a bitter battle between the company and the governor. The State House of Representatives on Wednesday passed the, a land use bill in a 75-34 vote that would essentially invalidate Disney's agreement with the Reedy Creek Impro Improvement District in February when the Special District was still under the company's control. The bill will have a final Senate vote, uh, final Senate vote before going yeah <laughs> i'm just totally botching this one the bill will have a final senate vote before going to desantis for his signature this says it's a 30-year development agreement it's actually 50. disney last week sued the governor of federal court claiming that desantis's move to install his own appointees on the special district's board was an act of retaliation after the company opposed his parental rights legislation known as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Disney contends that DeSantis actions violated the First Amendment and the Constitution's Contracts Clause, as well as the company's rights to due process. The bill passed on Wednesday includes a provision that prohibits the district from complying with the developmental agree development agreement. More specifically, it bars special districts from complying with, the with agreements ex executed within three months of a law being passed, changing how a district's board members are selected. The Disney development agreements were passed by the Reedy Creek Board on February 8th. DeSantis signed legislation given the state control of the board on February 27th. So again, this is just uh This is a bad look in my opinion for Disney. I mean, they pretty much come out and said, you know, well, we're going to put whatever we want into our content. And we're going to push agendas in our content, whether that be LGBTQ++, whatever, whether that be transgenderism, uh, we're going to push that, we're going to push that in our content. And by you signing this, by you implementing this law, which, by the way, if I remember correctly, he's expanded that now to not just go up to third grade, but I believe it has expanded to go up to, um... I think all the way up to senior year in high school. You have to correct me if I'm wrong. You can correct me down in the comments. In fact, give me your opinion down in the comments. What do you think of this battle between um, DeSantis and the state of Florida? But anyway, um, so he's expanded this parental rights law to go up now basically to cover anyone up to age, I think it's 17 or even 18. So, I'd be interested to hear what you all have to say about this. Where, where do you come down on this? Do you think this is don't say gay? Do you think it's not don't say gay? Do you think it's appropriate that DeSantis has done what he's done and the moves that he's made um, to combat what is now a woke Walt Disney? You know, if Walt Disney was alive today, he'd be... He'd be just aghast at what his company has become. Just saying. So comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, please like this video, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content is uploaded on a daily basis. And um, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for tuning in. And we will see you guys in the next video.